Hello, and welcome to another Astro One video presentation. Today, we'll be talking about the rotation of the Jovian planets. Here to help me is my assistant, Scott. Hi. The Jovian planets are also known as gas giants because they're mostly composed of hydrogen and helium gas. When we look at the Jovian planets, what we see is not a solid surface, but rather the top layer of their atmospheres. As these planets rotate, they don't rotate as solid bodies, but rather they rotate differentially. This means that different latitudes rotate at different rates. Scott will now represent the core of a Jovian planet. In his hands, he will hold a hulu, which represents an outer layer of a Jovian atmosphere. What happens if the upper layer of the Jovian atmosphere rotates in the same direction as the planet? As you can see, the upper layer of the Jovian atmosphere rotates faster than the rest of the planet. This is because it's rotating in the same direction as the rest of the planet. What happens if the upper layer of the Jovian atmosphere rotates in the opposite direction of the Jovian planet? Uh, wait, can I rotate in the opposite direction? No. In this case, the upper layer of the Jovian atmosphere rotated at a slower rate than the rest of the planet. Jovian planets have very strong winds in their upper atmosphere, which causes different layers to rotate at different rates. This is what causes their upper layers to rotate differentially. If different layers rotate at different rates, how is it possible to determine the true rotation rate of the planet? Jovian planets have, have storms on their surfaces, much like storms here on Earth. These storms form at alternately moving layers of the atmosphere. Scott, would you please hand me a ball for this demonstration? <sighs> Here I have a storm, which forms between two alternately moving layers of the atmosphere. As the planet rotates, the storm stays, ro stays stationary relative to the rest of the planet. Therefore, by measuring the rotation rate of the storm, we can measure the rotation rate of the planet. When we look at the Jovian planets, we see that they are not perfect spheres, but rather oblate spheroids. This equatorial regions bulge outwards. Why does this happen? Here in my hand, I have a slinky. As I twirl the slinky over my head, you can see that it bulges outwards. As I twirl the slinky faster, it bulges out even further. The Jovian planets all rotate rapidly, much more rapidly than the Earth, and so their equatorial regions bulge outwards. According to Newton's first law of motion, these regions want to fly off tangent to the surface of the planet. Ow! But the planet's gravities pull them back in. The faster the Jovian planets are rotating, the faster the outer layers are moving and the easier it is for them to resist the gravitational pull of their planets. This causes them to bulge outwards. Well, there you have it. Join us again next time for another exciting Astro One video demonstration. See you next time. Steven. 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 Mm. Steven! Oh. What time is it? It's 8 a.m. You're late. Sorry. Well, nap time's over. Come on, we have another video we have to go make. But you're going to have to do the demonstration this time. I must have slept really funny last night. My neck is really hurting. Can I be in charge? We've talked about this before, Stephen. I'm the instructor, you're the assistant. Now come on, let's go. The Jovian planets all rotate very rapidly much more rapidly than the Earth gravity rotates. These surfaces, just like this, this, like this Twinkie, want to... <laughs> <laughs> like this Twinkie? I'm hungry, give me a break! When we look at the Jovian planets, we see that they are not perfect spheres, but rather oblate spheroids. This means that their, outer, that their equatorial regions bulge outward, much like my assistant. Hey! <laughs> hey! No! <laughs>